Hey guys, it's Kuz here. Today my tutorial for this week is going to be about adding a gloss effect to your text. So I'm just going to start off by making a new layer 500 by 100. That's fine, it'll fit my text in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a text tool. I'm just going to make a box, whole size I guess. I'm just going to type panda. I'm going to make a black because that's what, effect, that's what color works best. Alright, so we have our black text there. I'm just going to drag it into the middle easier for you guys to see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this shape tool. And I'm going to choose a rectangle. I'm going to drag this rectangle over the whole half, top half of the text. Oh, my OPC is already down, sorry guys. But as you'll see, when you do it, that'll be like that. And what you're going to want to do is you want to right click on that layer and do create clipping mask and it just cuts all the white stuff out of the background and only has it on the text because that's the shape is over the text layer so as it'll if you press create clipping mask it goes down onto the next layer. I'm just going to change my opacity down to about 50ish or maybe 28 percent it looks quite nice and it gives it that nice um, glossy effect like it's got a shine on it or something. So I'm just going to add some more effects to this maybe drop shadow and a nice stroke around it. So if my voice sounds a bit croaky, I got a bit of a sore throat. And then so you got a nice text effect right there. I like the look of that. And then that would look nice on a desktop background. As you can see my background here was made by my friend. And um so I was just had got the idea for the text from him. Um, so that's that. You could just delete that and you can also use a um, ellipse tool and you just drag that over it and it gives it a little bit of a curve and you do the same thing. You right click and go create clipping mask and then you change your opacity down to about 28ish. I like 28 and then I'm just going to move this up a little bit because it's a bit low for my liking and yeah so it's got a nice shine to it. Alright, so that's one way and I'm just going to show you an extra oh, sorry Saint, talk to you later. Um, it's going to show you a nice thing you can do to YouTube backgrounds. So I have all these templates. I'm just going to open this one up and as you can see here's the big black area which is the boxes and that's what you're going to want to do. So you're going to want this. You're going to select that layer and you're going to get your ellipse tool. You're going to draw a circle about so about the same width and size of the top layer and your my opacity is still down from the last thing I was doing but yours won't if you've closed Photoshop. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this out like this and I'm gonna go up and I'm just gonna line the edge over here up with that edge there and then I'm gonna do my best to break close that down like that and make this bit down here match with that. So when I press the tick you can see it goes from corner to corner. It's not exact, but it's pretty good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this layer and I create clipping mask. You're going to want to make sure that the shape layer is over the layer you want the clipping mask to be over. And since this is a bigger object, I'm going to lower my opacity down a little bit more just to give it a slight gloss effect. And also, what you can do is if you click on here and go rectangular tool and just possibly drag it across like that. And then go create, oh, it's already got a clipping mask, sorry. And then, yeah, so that just adds another little effect to it. And it gives you a nice gloss effect, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty much that, guys. Um, if you want to contact the guy who made my background, he's in my sub box. And his name is Ratty Dog 88 And if you'd like to request a tutorial, um, from me for next week or on my personal channel just send me a private message or comment on this video and I'll do my best to make it and next week's video will be either a um, basics of Cinema 4D like what all the tools do and how to make a um, and then or it'll be how to make a simple intro which probably lots of people have would like to see so I'll try to do that for you guys and that's pretty much that and thanks for watching later